All right, guys, I wanted to shoot this video to explain a little bit about why I power the frogs. A lot of guys ask me, well, don't you have uh, insole frogs and why are you doing all this work and this and that? Well, here's a reason. Yes, I am using Atlas Code 83 switches, which do have, as you can see, an insulated frog. And from my uh, previous videos, I've shown you how I tap the hole that's there. Uh, and put a, a screw so I can see the connection from above. Once uh, the track's painted, again, that will disappear. Now, because I am using, or I have to use, these uh, Atlas switch machines above this portion of the layout, only because if I was to put a tortoise here, double stack trains would obviously run into it and that goes with everything else above this section which is the entire uh, ladder for the uh, intermodal yard. I'm forced to use these uh, Atlas uh, above the table switch machines. They're the lowest profile that I've seen that are above the table and they work reasonably well. Now in order to power the frog when you use these switches you'll need an Atlas number 200 snap relay. That goes connected in line with the wiring for the uh, switch machine. I have it coming up through there and that's the other end of the wiring there. Now the reason for powering these frogs, simple. You can ask several of the guys that have uh, purchased the small uh, or the short wheelbase track mobiles. As soon as that track mobile goes over the frog, at that point it's going to stall on you uh, because of the fact that if you don't have good contact back here and it hits this dead spot, that's it, it'll stall. Yeah, it's a lot more work to do this, but you have to think of it in this way. Do you want years of reliability with these uh, switches, or do you want to be faced later on with problems and then start asking people why uh, things aren't working? So, just uh, food for thought. Now again, you don't have to go through all this trouble if you're uh, going to be running uh, long length locomotives or you're just an average uh, hobbyist. Uh, there are all sorts of hobbyists, some that go uh, a little bit above the uh, what the average guy would do. Uh, I have a lot of time to kill so I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me. To power the frog, in this case, like in uh, when you're using the uh, hares uh, or the tortoise directly, uh, I use a, uh, I'll cut into the main track feed, the north rail and the south rail, uh, and do a splice and come up with a, a smaller gauge wire, which I will connect to the uh, snap relay. And once that's all connected, I'll show you how that works.